So from the standpoint of, of RegTech, this idea is basically, when you think about it, using technology for regulatory compliance, implementation, monitoring, and enforcement. So the term RegTech is new, but the idea of using technology for regulation and compliance is not. My name is Douglas Arner. I'm a professor at the University of Hong Kong and over the past 25 years I've spent uh, my life working on the intersection of finance, technology, regulation uh, and sustainable development. And today uh, I work with governments, businesses, academic institutions uh, all across the world. No matter what role you have in financial services, it makes sense to understand these trends in regulatory and supervisory technology, how they impact on your day-to-day -day work, and also from the standpoint of strategies for institutions. And of course, from the standpoint of central banks, regulators, and supervisors, we're seeing a real revolution in the way that they use technology to better achieve regulatory objectives. And so, from the standpoint of those in the regulatory and supervisory community, this is, I think, the big opportunity to transform the way we do things going forward. You know, we often think of, of RegTech from the standpoint of the financial services industry as a way of reducing costs. And certainly it can do this if you are able to standardize and automate certain forms of disclosure and compliance processes. But this process of building systems to collect standardized store data also means that financial institutions are better collecting data themselves, which they can then use not only for compliance and risk management purposes, but also from the standpoint of better serving customers or looking for new opportunities. And so I think when we think about financial services industry, we have to think, of course, about efficiency, but we also have to think about the wider opportunities around new business models and improving strategic operations. Well, first, I think that, you know, for everybody in the world, you can't escape finance. And RegTech is about using technology to make the financial sector work better, to minimize those risks of crises, to maximize the benefits we can get for broader sustainable development. And so I think everybody has an interest in learning about this idea. I think the second is from the standpoint of those who are working in regulation or compliance in financial services or outside of financial services to actually learn about the way that technology is impacting the way that regulation compliance enforcement is being done. Yeah, so if we think about digitization of compliance, it's often similar risks to other things. In other words, if you are collecting and storing large volumes of information, this exposes you to a range of different sorts of, of tech risks, uh, cybersecurity risks from the standpoint of how information may be stored, uh, from the standpoint uh, of data protection risks from the standpoint of how different forms of data uh, may be used. And particularly as more and more systems and data move to cloud-based systems is the fact that so much of it is tech and subject to those tech risks. And so what I think we're thinking about digitization of compliance, one is bringing in this new tech risk side. The other is bringing in those risks uh, of automation. I have to say the third, and in some ways where this course really comes in, is the fact that many compliance professionals may not be comfortable with the technology and some of its risks and implications, and therefore a very big need to focus on strengthening human capital and skill sets in this area. The last two and a half years, 
COVID has really driven forward digitization of everything. And I think the big trend coming out today is really from the standpoint of central banks and regulators looking at digital transformation strategies as to how they can digitize their own operations and better use analytics to achieve regulatory objectives. If we think about tech spending in financial services. Over the past 30 years, financial services has always been amongst the top three sectors spending on tech. This means is from the standpoint of financial services, the increasing use of tech is embedded in their operations going forward. Now, I think what is really interesting from the regulatory standpoint is an increasing focus on what I call digital financial infrastructure, systems like the US SEC's Edgar system, where basically all listed company information will have to be submitted into a single digital system along with all of the sustainability disclosures, which going forward is going to produce a massive amount of structured data for financial services, for academics, and for regulators and which will make not only our markets function better, but also from the standpoint of encouraging sustainability, really provide the data we need to figure out what works and what doesn't.